Sounds and welcome to the vibe. Today is Take It Up a Level Tuesday. That means you should be working even harder than you did yesterday. Take it up to the next level. I'm your host, Tanaya, and I'm here with my co host, Amaya. That's right, Tanaya. Today, make sure all make sure the learning you've done in your classes. Um, in addition to great learning, we've got a great show for you guys today. Coming up, we'll bring you Today in History, today's EHS announcements, the lunch menu, and the motivational meme. But before we begin, can everyone please stand for the pledge? They had the pledge pulled, so yeah. It's all the same. Just in case. Uh, let me stand up for the rest of the day. There we go. Thank you. Oh, yeah, because we have to. I'm always standing. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now it's time for our favorite daily feature that reminds us what happened on this day in history. Here's a look at this day in history. September 11th. In 1777, General George Washington and his forces met defeat at the Battle of Brandywine in Pennsylvania. On this day in 1936, President Franklin D. Roosevelt dedicated what is now Hoover Dam in Colorado. In 1962, the Beatles recorded their first songs with music label EMI, Love Me Do and P.S. I Love You. And on this day in 2001, America was attacked by Al-Qaeda terrorists. <laughs> They hijacked four jets. <laughs> Two brought down New York's World Trade Center towers. One slammed into the Pentagon. The fourth was forced down this by defiant yours. passengers and flight attendants. Close to 3,000 lives were lost. And that's this day in history. Hey, Rams. History, as you can see, is not just for history tests. Here's today's test. Which futures come right after today in history? That's right, the announcements. Here they are. <laughs> Good morning, Rams. These are the EHS announcements for Tuesday, September the 11th. Crop is in session. Monday through Wednesday from 3 o'clock to 4.30 p.m. in the Building 2 Computer Labs. Please see your guidance counselor if you need to register for a course. Seniors, there is a runoff election for your homecoming king. Please come to the school store during V-Lunch on Wednesday or Thursday this week to select your representative for homecoming court. Students, faculty, staff, and the East Side Ramily, we are beginning a collection drive for the Box House for Education coupons found on various products like cereal, paper plates, disinfectants, and more. Box tops can be delivered to Mr. Mar Marco's mailbox in a plastic Ziploc bag. In the first four weeks of school, we have already collected over $60 in Box Top for Education coupons. For a list of products that have box tops, please visit the Eastside High School website and scroll to the bottom of the home page. Click on the box tops logo and all the information is available there. Thank you for your participation. Our goal for this year is $1,000. Remember, at Eastside, we are a team. Together, everyone achieves more. Just a reminder for students, Whenever you check in or check out, please make sure that you print your legal first and last name, your grade, and the time that you are checking in or out. Also, if you receive an orange or green pass to check out of school, 
you must come to the attendant's office and sign out before you leave campus. Thank you for Mrs. Singleton. Seniors, next week is Spirit Week because of homecoming. So September 17th on Monday, we'll have color wars, which means seniors wear black, juniors wear electric green, sophomores wear pink, and freshmen wear yellow. Represent your class. On Tuesday, you'll dress as a character or your favorite meme. On Wednesday of Spirit Week, you can dress as your uh, class's generation. So seniors will be senior citizens. Juniors will dress as middle-aged adults. Sophomores dress as teenagers. Freshmen, you can dress as babies. On Thursday, that's the day of the game, that's Spirit Day. And on Friday, September 21st, that will be Tourist Day. The football game will be Thursday at 7.30 versus Lake Weir and the dance for homecoming week is Friday night from 7 to 10 p.m at the Senior Recreation Center. Teachers, there is a sign-up list in the front office next to the mailboxes because we would love to have you be there as a chaperone if you can come out to help. Hey Ram, did you miss any of the announcements? Don't worry, these announcements will loop silently on your TVs at the end of our broadcast today. Thanks for listening. Good hey. morning, Rams. Oh, okay. Hey, Rams. History, as you can see. Oh, girl, flip the script. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. We're not trying to say that the announcements are long, but all those announcements sure can make a Ram hungry. Huh? See what I did there? Huh? No? Okay. Let's get to the lunch menu to find out what's cooking later on this morning. <laughs> Yum. This is the EHS lunch menu for Tuesday, September 11th. You have a choice of one, Texas chili fries with cheddar cornbread, hot dog on bun or sleepy piggy, fresh baked pizza, checkers, hmm, checker, cheddar chicken salad with tortilla chips or cheddar cornbread. Colossal fries, charro beans, fruit parfait, and seasonal fresh fruit are your side choices. Have a wonderful day, Rams, and this is the EHS Lunch Menu. Before we go, we would like to give you a little motivation to make your day great. So here's today's motivational meme. Don't wish for it, work for it. I'm going to say that one more time for those who missed it because you were sleeping. Don't wish for it, work for it. Thank you for tuning in, and as always, be around. Stay respectful, accountable, and motivated. Let's make it a positive Tuesday, a productive day, and a day full of positive vibes. And as always, make today an honorable day on campus. Have a great Tuesday, and go Rams!